Aloha beautiful peoples Today we are going to talk about emotions and what on earth are they for? <laughs> um, seriously though, like the emotional guidance system what our emotions are what and what they actually are for so imagine instead of thinking of so many different emotions that we have one emotional body because we do and i'm going to express and explain my understanding of what emotions are actually for as a guidance to guide us back into now imagine if you believe in a source a god a butterfly i mean a hummingbird <laughs> that everything came from so this beautiful source even if you can feel it for a second like even a second even two seconds. This spaciousness of peace. Let's take let's take a couple deep breaths here. You can sigh out your mouth. <sighs> Wherever you feel tension. focus on this spacious God particle, source, beingness, feeling, nothingness, <laughs> and it's okay if you can only feel it for a second or five seconds. And then you go back into your thoughts. It's okay. Just know that the more and more you come back to this, the more and more your mind gets trained. is truly what I can say really catapulted my healing from addiction because we get to choose what we focus on anything that we focus concentrate on it's like Imagine, imagine, imagine the infinity sign, right? Every time there's no thought, it goes back to this beingness, this God particle. And then a thought happens, and it goes. And the amount of feeling or tension thought depends on how far it goes until it can ooh, comes back to this spaciousness and the speed and velocity also so let's say maybe your thoughts are going really fast and it's racing and you're feeling anxious and worried or it can like right and I felt that before and it sucks and I've spent days I have spent days on like and this is how deep I was in this black hole depression anxiety I was so scared to even leave my house I was scared of everything and anyone and all the thoughts that would come up of lack and this and that and it was terrifying and that's also 
it because I chose to follow that thought. Let's see, right here is that openness, that free, that love, that joy, that just beingness that we want to come back to, that we want to feel. It's our God particle, our God spark, where creation is, where we feel like oh, anything is possible. It's here, it's here always it's changeless it's timeless there is no way that it can go because we cannot exist without it okay so following the thought and then we choose to put an emotion behind it and that's telling us like basically if we have a pattern let's say we go to, we wake up, we feel, uh, we, then maybe we feel a little bit better, and then we go back, but then something else happens, and uh, and it keeps going, and then it gets better, but uh, 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 uh and the day goes on, and on, and you're just uh, raging, by the time you get home, you're just exhausted, and it might be coming back, but you, you continue to come from here, from that thought that first created it. Let's say that happened when you were a child. It doesn't matter when it happened. Let's say you can notice somebody like, oh my gosh, something's starting to happen. I'm starting to do. And you can see this, it's this loop and it keeps going and going until we make that decision to pause it and that can be for even a second if we can just consciously be like okay this loop is happening stop be with myself go outside take a breather take a shower something to slow that down until we can uh, slow it down so much that it no longer happens we no longer think those thoughts and that's like healing yeah for me what worked was learning that I could focus and feel good for the first time ever and what helped me was laying down on the grass and this can be however like just getting comfortable somewhere in your seat and focusing on something. And that can be an apple. Choose something holistic. This is this is the practice, is something whole, something holistic where, you know, a beautiful leaf, a beautiful bird, where you can start to see the details and go into a feeling of beauty of joy of love yeah if you're looking at something I noticed myself if I was looking at a bush that has dead leaves like oh look at that ugly bush you know and that's simply a reflection of how I was feeling and I became very I was very aware of that like I feel like shift I want to die this is not fun I do not want to be alive like so it was easier to get that reflection in my thoughts and to see however i want to say not forcing myself but really continuing to push myself and it's okay to push yourself sometimes and if you were in a deepest dark hole as i was all the time basically it was essential for me to push myself to like get uncomfortable because I had been in such a long streak in such a dark hole in the bottomless pit that the only thing that mattered was to feel good and if we truly made that our job to feel good to feel God to feel source to feel that God particle we will feel free we will be we will be aware of the fact of the matter that we are free always it's our thoughts 
and the emotions that are driving them that make us feel otherwise. And it this can be any emotion. So a lot of times, like at the beginning where I said, to see that we only have one emotional body, it can be excitement and joy, right? That's, it's important for us to have this breath out and breath in. Have you ever noticed this happened quite often in my beingness, awareness, in this past life for conversation's sake, that I'll get really excited about something and like not come down, ground into that beingness of it and let it incubate and in the womb, right? Like we all have, imagine if we all had a womb. <laughs> this, is a, this is a etheric womb if you are a man and it's okay. And what that would feel like. When I experienced, I wanna go into a little bit, actually no, what that would feel like, right? To me, my experience, of God, of peace, pure peace and stillness. People will say, listen to the still, I wanna say large voice, <laughs> the still small voice. I've experienced it in a large, clear, clairvoyant way. Like that's me, that's my higher confident, knowing self telling me. It's, it's very direct, so our emotions, if our emotions are guiding us, well, I want to, like, our inner self, our God self, our God spark, our higher self, our truest self, our true voice is very direct, right? Like, go left, go right, stand up, go to the bathroom, and imagine an emotion. I've seen this a lot in my past self as a parent, and yeah so imagine there's it's being like you're chilling you feel good and then you need to go to the bathroom now imagine being a child needing to go to the bathroom and your inner voice is like all right go pee right get up your your mind the a to b like how to get from a to b you're here you know where the bathroom is i'm gonna stand up and go to the bathroom and then you're ever so loving no i'm not I'm saying this loving because it's not that our parents are not loving it's that we've been unaware as guides that oh like can you hold it we're in the car right now we'll be there in a little bit I mean sometimes sure however over and over and over constantly putting our children or a child or you know what that's learning to listen to their inner guidance like oh I need to go pee and imagine you needed to go pee instead of waiting for it to build and build and build where you continue in a very uncomfortable way. And that's what parents have unconsciously done so much. And that's kind of why we're undoing all of this, like listening to our inner guidance and seeing go left, go right. And, and instead of waiting for it to build to this huge emotion, like, oh my God, I need to poop, right? No, can you just hold it a little bit because we're driving and it's gonna be such like see the emotions behind that yeah so we take that on and then as adults I've seen this in adults like I don't poop for a week like don't you have to poop yeah but da -da 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 -da. like that's a true story by the way <laughs> so you see the emotions that are Driving instead of this beingness that can that is always driving in the present moment, whether we choose to negate from that and follow these thoughts and emotions that have been going these loops, the second that we start to become aware and choosing that still large confident loving kind genuine easy passionate awful and when I say awful like 
ah, ah, that ra, ah, ra, that ah, full, full of ah, full of beauty, full of joy, joyful, blissful, patient, peaceful, full of peace, voice, guidance. That is when we start to break these patterns of addiction. I also like to say addiction is somewhere that we have focused and what we focus on gets bigger. Another way to express this and explain this, what we focus on gets bigger. Well, how, why, what, is it? what does that even mean? The thought came to me while this video was coming through me before I started recording. That's it. A pimple <laughs> something that's like oh my gosh and have you ever noticed like you leave it alone it'll heal it'll go away now notice those thoughts it'll heal it will go away huh. and then you stop focusing on it you start focusing on whatever else brings you joy yeah now the other way around you focus on it you start to complain about it you start to touch it you start to touch it some more you start to dig at it and we all know Maybe not all, but see where I'm going with that. So becoming aware of our focus and then even deeper becomes concentration. And the more and more we focus, the more and more we see that we can focus. Whether that be whew, another practice I love is like taking a breath and then seeing, focusing on myself. You know that Buddha face? That's Focusing becomes concentration. Concentrating on me being concentrated on seeing myself in the Buddha face. It's a very restful feeling. A very restful, uh, not feeling, but state of being. See? I'm sure we are all this and we can all be this together right now. Okay, so what goes with this too? <laughs> to me, this is the God state. <laughs> I'll, I'll go into it because it's this right now. <laughs> it's like the crying and laughing at the same time. This is in a very joyful way. <laughs> and also it's how Buddha is depicted. Craggling. <laughs> crying and laughing at the same time. Okay, so while you craggle, I'll tell you a little bit more. <laughs> is uh ah <laughs> uh, okay sometimes getting out of this state is like you gotta give it a minute <laughs> what a moment oh <laughs> What goes with this that I have really enjoyed that has put me to sleep and I am, I've expressed that I went nine months without sleeping this past dark hole and 10 years ago I went seven months without sleeping so real fun do not try this at home ever if you have gone any amount of time you know what I'm saying so <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> Choose to not take that story on as your own. <laughs> so, Buddha face, mm, resting here. And also doing this like in the midst of things, noticing there's a story going on, there's a reflection. I just so happen to be staying with my mom and dad, so yeah grew up in a very strict religious household and it's been 
quite the experience as the experience as of lately and becoming aware like super hyper aware in a beautiful way of like ah my response and all these patterns that have been going I can respond differently and I can breathe Buddha face also another practice that I <laughs> we're gonna get to it okay thank you for listening another practice that I expressed was like responding in joy it's to before it was in anger or frustration or just like Wah! right and it's like this has been going on since I can remember and I'm 32 years young in this life existence experience and I'm pretty ready to shift and unconditionally love my parents and have really joyful blissful experiences with them whether or not they are <laughs> only matters if I am so anytime something happens being like oh jolly oh joy yay right However, the experience that may be happening is the complete opposite. But I'm choosing to feel. And the more and more you choose to choose to feel joy, bliss, which is also this God being spark within us, the more and more that starts to wire. And then poof, it stops happening. And actual joyful, blissful experiences. My dad called me baby the other day. Baby, like in the most loving precious way my experience with my father has gotten really nice for the most part like oh, he's so sweet like he's just so sweet and of course we want to see everyone in that way and be an unconditional okay so buddha face and feeling joyful or just buddha face and peace and saying i want nothing from nothing I want nothing from nothing I want nothing from nothing I want nothing From nothing. And you'll notice uh, this state of being is like oh, melty so calm peaceful nothingness and <sighs> from this state of being, we can become more and more instantly aware of what feels like this, what feels closest to these feelings of love, true love, not human love, God's love, unconditional, infinite love, joy, gratitude, the way that we express from here, the thoughts that come from here are quite different from <laughs> any other emotion than these emotions, yeah? So, I 
ask you to take this video, watch it as much as you'd like. There are many of us on this planet that are tuned into this frequency and also like who is always here feeling love unconditional love joy peace blissfulness gratitude who do you know personally if you are here wanting to heal maybe maybe you are always in this state of being and that's beautiful continue if you are not i want to let you know right now that you can be all the time blissful joyful happy truly happy there is nothing stopping us from this there is no parent out there that genuinely desires for their child to suffer. None genuinely at the core, at this God core of them. The more and more that we heal on focus on what is not of this vibration of this caliber of this god spark of this love unconditional love and joy the more and more we deviate from that and we abide in this we focus we choose this feeling The more and more we will believe in miracles. It is a miracle today that I am here with you. I did not have a single conscious at the forefront of Natasha, the, the person I call myself thought that I would heal. I would constantly convince myself that this is my life now. This is it. I will be in this forever. And this, it was really hard, so. Your life will become a living miracle <laughs> that you are a God, that you are a child of God, of source that create, that you are this source as well. Have we been creating from this source? Clearly not. <laughs> and that's okay. Accept it because it's already accepted. It's already happening. Might as well. And the idea that you can even not, ex that you have to accept it is also false because everything is still coming from this. However, a distorted idea of this because it started with a thought and an emotion that's not this, but it also is this because it's connected. So all the facets of enlightenment of who we really are. I love you and I would love to express and give so much thanks to a lot of teachers that are coming from this space. Eckhart Tolle, um, <laughs> Bentinho Masato, that's been my main go-to and I actually would literally have his videos. He's been doing this work for so long is in, and is so spot on for me. I'm in his No Limits Society class right now and it's only just begun and it's, here's a video that's come from it. <laughs> We're only on week two, okay? So anyhow, one more thing 
if you're watching this in real time, luminous events or schooling, event, luminousevents.com, I believe. I will put that description in the link below. If you are a parent and you are ready to become conscious and learn and have your children be in a school or homeschool with you at the moment. There are schools coming to fruition in Hawaii. Watch for it on my Instagram at Natasha underscore Anastasia 111. There are these schools coming to fruition now and because we have risen. We have risen. We have There's so many ways of saying it, y'all. Words are just words. It's it's how it resonates, how it vibrates. The vibrations are real. We know when someone's something's off. Someone might be a little bit mischievously not telling the truth. However, if we can see why, that's seen through the eyes of love. Like yeah, my child didn't tell me that they snuck a cookie because the last time I spanked them. So they're like, no, nope, did not. Or maybe they got grounded or I yelled at them. And like, as an adult, and I know this video is long, but it all, it's all good. As an adult, 32 years young. I've, I see in myself that like, oh, I didn't listen to my inner being and I did this other thing and in that moment I saw like, if I do this then it's gonna upset my mom or if I do that then it's gonna upset my dad and then, and then it happens and my inner, I wanna say, for lack of better words, inner child, my emotional guidance system, I can see where maybe when I was a child, I can see where that pain or just like, ah, you know, like I, cr I, I create, I created that, created that. And I saw that, you know, and it was not my favorite that it upset them. And I can easily go into blame or da da da, da on them, but I can also easily see like, yeah, I had that thought to sweep it up and clean it up as soon as possible, but then I forgot and then I got upset and then it's been two weeks and just like, just that even tone tonality even as a 32 year old is like I we wish to really have joyful expansive unconditional loving experiences and this starts to happen when we start to become aware and to stop taking blame off like yeah well your shed's always dirty anyways so why do you care no leave a place cleaner than when you found it because our true inner lovingness if we have any thoughts about something it's it's leaving from this yeah and then starts creating that emotion till it comes back to this so anyways whew, i love you all aloha and have a blissful beautiful <laughs> i was gonna say transient transcendental Maybe because I was listening to that kind of music earlier. I don't know. I love you. Aloha. Many blessings.